Thank you for watching this instructional video of the DDM230 series digital multimeters. Let's take a look at the features that are shared across all meters in the series. To measure voltage, move the rotary switch to the voltage position. Press the function button to switch between DC and AC voltage modes. Once set, insert the red test lead into the voltage jack and the black lead into the comm jack. Connect the leads to the circuit under test and the display will show the measured voltage. To measure resistance, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position. The default mode is resistance. Insert the test leads into the ohms and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit. The measured resistance will be shown on the display. To measure diodes, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position. Press the function button to switch to diode mode. Insert the test leads into the diode and comm jacks. Connect the red lead to the anode and the black lead to the cathode of the diode under test and the display will show the forward biased voltage drop. To measure continuity, turn the rotary switch to the multifunction position. Press the function button to switch to continuity mode. Insert the test leads into the ohms and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. If the measured resistance is less than 50 ohms, the meter's buzzer will sound. To measure capacitance, turn the rotary switch to the capacitance position. Insert the test leads into the capacitance and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The measured capacitance will be shown on the display. To measure frequency and duty cycle on the 230A and B, turn the rotary switch to the hertz position. The default mode is frequency. Insert the test leads into the hertz and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The measured frequency will be shown on the display. Press the hertz button to switch to duty cycle mode. Connect the leads to the circuit and the display will show the measured duty cycle. Alternatively, while in AC voltage or current modes, press the Hertz button to display the frequency of the signal being measured. Press the Hertz button again to show the measured duty cycle. Press the Hertz button a third time to return to voltage or current display. On the 230C, turn the rotary switch to the Hertz position. Insert the test leads into the Hertz and comm jacks and connect the leads to the circuit under test. The display will simultaneously show both frequency and duty cycle measurements. The main display shows frequency while the secondary display shows duty cycle. Alternatively, while in AC voltage or current modes, the frequency is simultaneously displayed in the upper right corner of the display. It is not possible to show duty cycle in AC voltage or current modes. To measure current, Turn the rotary switch to the appropriate current position. The expected current to be measured will determine which position to move the rotary switch to. Press the function button to switch between DC and AC current. For current measurements below 400 milliamps on the 230A and B and 600 milliamps on the 230C, insert the red lead into the microamp milliamp jack and the black lead into the comm jack. For current measurements above those values, move the red lead to the 10 amp jack. Connect the leads in series to the circuit under test and the display will show the measured current. The final measurement shared by all three meters is the non-contact voltage test. Move the rotary switch to the NCV position and move the top of the meter towards the conductor or voltage source under test. If the NCV sensor detects AC voltage, the NCV indicator will flash and the buzzer will beep. There are some additional features that are shared across all three meters in the series. The meter's default range is auto range. To enter manual range, press the range button. Each press of the button increases the range and returns to the lowest range when pressed in the highest range. Hold the range button to return to auto range mode. To enter relative mode, press the rel button. 
In relative mode, the meter stores the value when the button is pressed and displays the current reading compared to the stored value. On the 230A and B, the display simply shows the relative measurement. On the 230C, the secondary display shows the stored value and the main display shows the relative measurement. To hold a reading on the display, press the hold button and the current value will be held on the display. Press the hold button again to return the display to normal. The final shared feature on all meters in the series is the backlight function. Press the backlight button and the backlight will light up the display so you can make measurements in dark environments. On the 230A and B, the backlight will turn itself off after about 15 seconds. For the 230C, the backlight will stay on until the backlight button is pressed again. Let's take a look at some of the features that are specific to certain meters. The 230C includes a max min display feature. In any mode other than frequency, press the max min button and the secondary display will show the maximum value recorded after the button was pressed. Press the button again and the secondary display switches to the minimum value recorded after the button was pressed. If you keep pressing the button, the secondary display will continue to switch between the max and min value. Hold the max min button to stop the max min display. The 230B has a PC link feature using the built-in USB port for connecting the meter to a PC. When connected to a PC, the meter can stream readings to the connected computer using the included USB cable and software. To use the PC link feature, first install the included software on the computer you intend to connect the meter to. Insert the CD that came with the meter into the computer's CD drive. When prompted, open the CD and download the RAR file and unzip the file into a folder on your computer. Once done, double click the setup.exe file and follow the prompts to install the software on the computer. Connect the meter to the computer using the USB cable and turn the rotary switch to the function to be measured. Navigate to the program location on the computer and double click the multimeter.exe file to open the program. The program should automatically detect the meter and begin displaying values. If not, double check to make sure the correct COM port is selected in the upper left corner of the program window. If necessary, press the connect button on the upper part of the program window. Connect the test leads of the meter to the circuit under test and the program will begin displaying the measured values. On the left side of the window, the top half shows the currently measured value while the bottom half shows the graph of all the recorded values. The right side of the window shows a list of all values recorded along with timestamps for each value. Press disconnect on the top of the program window to stop the readings when finished recording or before switching functions on the meter. To start over and clear the recorded readings, press the new button above the readings on the right side of the window. There are two options for saving recorded readings. First, to save the readings to a simple text file, press the save button next to the new button. Choose a destination and file name and click save. Second, to save the readings as an Excel spreadsheet, Press the Excel button next to the Save button. Choose a destination and file name and click Save to save the spreadsheet. To print the readings, click the Printer button next to the Excel button and the readings will be sent to the computer's default printer. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the DDM230 series. For information on this and all our other products, please visit our website at www.dawsontools.com.